Typically, your smart speaker does what you ask it to. Alexa, set an alarm for 7 a.m. Alarm set for 7 a.m. tomorrow. What if your smart speaker initiates a conversation? Hello there. A movie you put on your watch list has just released. Would you like to book a ticket? Oh, yes. I found that you have free time this Thursday evening. Is that okay? Great. A proactive smart speaker will enable a variety of intelligent services such as medication reminding, scheduling and IoT device controlling. But if it talks to you when you don't want to be disturbed... Hello there. A movie you put on your watch list has... You would be annoyed. Would you like to book a ticket? Prior HCI studies on desktop and mobile computers warn that inopportune interruption negatively affects user experience. That these prior studies explored diverse scenarios ranging from desktop computers, mobile phones, to vehicle and smart furniture. Despite the recent popularity of smart speakers, research on the interruptibility of smart speakers remains lacking. Unlike traditional human-computer interactions, smart speakers are unique in that conversational interactions happen in shared spaces, like living rooms. We hypothesised that these characteristics of smart speakers engender unique factors for interruptibility. To identify factors for interruptibility, we conducted an in-situ user study by developing a smart speaker and deploying it in real environments. Our system periodically asked, is now a good time to talk? And recorded participants' answers. Participants were asked to answer yes or no and describe what they had been doing. For ESM triggering, we used both random scheduling and movement detection methods. We collected ESM data from 40 participants living in dormitories for a week. We collected 3,500 ESM responses and performed exit interviews with all 40 participants. Overall, 53% of the responses were yes, indicating that the person was interruptible, while 47% were no indicating the opposite. Our manual coding resulted in 19 home activity categories. These categories were used to find how activity context affects interruptibility. We cross-analyzed interruptibility factors with activities and found three contextual factors leading to a yes or no response. Personal factors, movement factors and social factors. Regarding personal factors, we found concentration and engagement, urgency and busyness, psychological or physical states and auditory or verbal channel availability. Regarding movement factors, we found departure, entrance and physical activity transitions. Interestingly, in movement scenarios, the communication range is an important factor. Departure is outbound movement from the speaker and entrance is inbound movement. We found that users are highly available for inbound movement scenarios. Almost half of the data was collected when both roommates were present. We found Social presence also influenced interruptibility because roommates wanted to minimise possible interpersonal conflict, such as disturbing their roommate during sleeping or studying. We envision that through considering personal, movement and social factors, a smart speaker can intelligently manage the timing of conversations. Multimodal sensory data can be used for context sensing 
and this context information will help smart speakers to proactively learn when it is opportune time to start, stop or resume conversations.